right, finally back. More out of the park baseball with the Chicago White Sox. Last time we were looking to make some trades, and we are going to do just that. Got a couple trades lined up here, so let's get into that to start this off. First trade is going to be with Seattle. Going to give them Eloy Jimenez and Wes Keith, and going to get Mike Bauman and Steve Kolek in return. Mariners hunting for a playoff spot and in need of a bat, so we're going to give them Eloy. Uh, hitting some home runs. Kind of, you know, it's not doing a whole lot. Uh, otherwise, so he's going to go to Seattle, try to get kick-started. They're throwing to Wes Keith just because they were needing, uh, you know, pretty really just to throw him in there. Uh, we weren't really going to use him, so figured why not uh, ourselves. We're just needing some relievers. Bauman and Kolek were in AAA. And we can throw these guys in right now and see if they can help us out. And they are they got good enough ratings to where we are hoping that they can help out with the bullpen, try to solve, you know, one of, one of our big problems here. We got a lot of big problems, and the bullpen is definitely one of them. And send off Eloy, we... We're going to bring him back. He has that 18.5 mil team option. We were not going to exercise that. And why not get some value out of him? So get him to Seattle, get some relief help. Next trade, going to get another reliever. This time kind of more for the future. Jorge Lara, 17-year-old and rookie ball. Projected to look like a pretty solid closer. Hopefully we'll get a... Another pitch in there, not doing well right now, but just trying to get a future asset. Uh, really weren't going to get, you know, a whole lot out of the Phillies, but Andrew Vaughn's been doing very well for lefties, at least, this season. Not the best first righties, but he's been destroying lefties, and Andrew Vaughn, you know, we were kind of hoping he'd take over the first base spot as a whole, but it's not been that way. And as it stands right now, he's going to be looking to make at least 7 mil in arbitration and probably going to go a different route. Uh, and then Dominic Fletcher, they were going to need somebody else to make this happen, so threw in Dominic Fletcher. Did very well in spring training. Hasn't quite panned out after that. See there. Doing better lefties like Vaughn. Except he is a lefty. Uh, he's just been our backup outfielder. But throwing him in there. Get Jorge Laura And see if he can be our closer of the future. And the Phillies get Andrew Vaughn. To try to make an impact for the postseason for them. Now for the or talked about trade. Andrew Benintendi out of here. Instead we're taking on another guy who's overpaid but we're only seeing him for two years. Oh, I guess another year after this but in a sense, I only have to see George Springer for one more year. Andrew Benintendi, we do have to pay to get him out of here, but I want to do that. I don't want to see him anymore. Get the hell out of here. Uh, and we're going to give them Seth Keener, and then we also get Alec Manoa. He would like to be in the starting rotation. And I'm going to say, sure, why the hell not? We'll test you out. We'll give you a shot. Reclaim a spot in the rotation. Let's give it a go. Arbitration estimate, not too bad. If he can do all right in the rotation, you know, why not? We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll 
We'll see if there's upside in Alec Manoa. We're the White Sox. What do we have to lose? More games? That's fine with me. George Springer, you can come over here. We'll pay you $22.5 million next season. And after that, you can, I don't know, you can go do whatever, whatever you'd like to do. But as long as we don't got to see Andrew Benintendi any, anymore, perfectly fine with me. Get him the hell out of here. We're going to ship you off to Canada. Now we have our sudden influx of relievers and assorted pitchers, which means that we got to make some moves. So, obviously, Tommy Canely. See you later. Alec Manoa can go in the rotation. Logan Allen will put on in there. He can be a long reliever for all I care. He can go mop up Charlin Garcia. It's not quite worked out. He can also go. We gotta do one more reliever. And we are going to have it be Matt Foster. He has to clear waivers. I need two lefties, so we're going to do the good old wave a designate for assignment. There we go. I have leverage. All right, there it is. Everybody in their roles. Let's go. Alec Manoa, he is rested. Okay. Good deal. And lineup. We got 10 players. Okay. So George Springer. Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets can move to first. She already is in the lineup. Got to do some movings around. There we go. And then. Who do we call up? We could call... Oh, we did call up Ed, Edgar Cuero and Nathan Hickey. Should, should have mentioned that. They got called up. And then Hunter and Corey Lee, they got sent down. Anticlimactic. Jacob Burke could... Could call him up. And he's a leader. Ooh. God knows we need that. And I want, we might. Yeah, what do we have to lose, really? Let's do that. Let's call him up. We need two more. Scott Hurst can be defensive. Let's just see where that leads us. So Burke. Burke will have the left. We'll have him start. Whoops. Yeah, because we got Kike out there. You can play right field. Slide on in there. Because we won't want you in. Right, because we got 
Springer. Take a look first. So we'll gay. First, Mikado will go to third. So really, you could just use a multiple positional man. Ooh, we could bring in Shoemake, a captain. We'll bring in the captain. We're gonna unite. We're gonna unite the clubhouse way too late, but it'll work out. We're gonna have a really cohesive team. Just way too late. So I really just need like the DH. That's all I need here. So we could have Sosa DH versus Lefties. Or I could even have him see it second. Let's have Ramos DH. So let's play second. And I could do I could do shoemake maybe. We just go for the defense. We'll try that. Put you make there. And then Sosa. Burke. Let's do that, maybe. See how that goes. All right, that might play, maybe. Your new look, White Sox. For the time being, unless we make another trade, but not sure. Here are your standings. If you wanted to see how poor we are. All right, let's see how the rest of July goes. We, we forgot about this. Put a claim on Richard Lovelady. So we got another lefty for the bullpen. Uh, well, uh, yeah, Jared Schuster, you're going to have to uh, get the hell out of here. Richard Lovelady, welcome. Jesus. Christ, Mike Bauman, what happened? You pitched two-thirds of an inning. What did they do to you? What have you done? What happened? I am afraid. I'm afraid to see. We got the all-star rosters. Who has made it? Definitely no relievers. Colson made it. Okay. Colson and Luis Robert. We may be the worst team in the major leagues, but got two all stars. Just saying. Worst team in the major leagues, but two all-stars. That's something right there. That is something. We're on the come up. You better watch out. Now how in the goddamn fuck did you make prospect game with a 602 ERA? Who did you pay off? Who did you pay off? You have no stats. 
what are you doing? Yeah, it... All right. Understands persuade... Oh, okay. Understandable. Trade talks heating up between the Diamondbacks and the White Sox. This is the most ice cold trade convo I've ever seen in my life. You offer me a grandfather. Sure, Lenin Sosa is not exactly God, but you offer me a veteran outfielder on the verge of retirement. Why would I do this? Oh my god. We've made the least errors in the American League. This team is good at something. Oh my god. And here I was thinking that they were trash at everything. We're the best at something. Hang this up in the clubhouse. It's going to inspire people. How's the team chemistry? You know what? It's better than it was. Clubhouse still in this. You know what? That's... It's way better than the way we had it. No players have complaints. Nature's healing. All right, let's see if there are any interesting trades here. Drew Smiley and Ben Joyce, the Cardinals. Okay, pretty cool. Adam Adovino goes back to Colorado. Let's see. Kikuchi goes to Colorado. Dylan Cease to Boston. Is that it? Is there nothing? Saw that. Cease. Giants. And Pittsburgh. David Robertson. Giovanni Gallegos. Uh, Hudson. Okay. Yeah. Jackson Strong. What else? Tyler Rogers. It's gotta be something good. Come on. Evan Phillips. It's on the Marlins. It was on the Marlins. Sturry Ruiz. It's a Yankee. Hey, there's us. And there's us again. And there's us again, again. Catridge. Lee, Chloe, 
All right. Well, there are the trades. If you were curious, uh, I don't think we're going to make any more moves. I think that was all that we wanted to do. And... Yeah, I don't think I'll make any other decisions. Going to keep Robert. Going to ignore George Springer. It's for the best. It's for the best. That's what I tell myself. Repeatedly with my eyes closed. And... Yeah, the bullpen we're just going to have to see through. As well as the starting rotation. But yeah, no more moves. No more trades. Alright, so... Good news is we're not the worst team in baseball by a half game, but we're not the worst team in baseball. So progress, progress being made almost to the end of August. Brian Ramos, player of the week, 31 home runs, doing tremendous work. And let's check in. Do you want to check in? Riley O'Brien? Okay. Doing quite well. Richard Lovelace, Stephen Kolick. Amazing. Mike Bauman, not, not necessarily. Alec Minot looks like he hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't enjoyed his time here. That's par for the course. Colin Ray has held his own. Dane Dunning. Yeah. Garrett Crochet. It looks like he's been at least better. Recently. Yeah, August. ERA under four. It's his, it's his best month that wasn't just one start, so... We're getting somewhere with him. So that's good. Go to the hitting. There's Ramos. Edgar Cuero. Okay. Nathan Hickey doing nice as the backup. Colson Montgomery still killing it. Luis Robert with 36, 107. 152 OPS plus. He's trying to get to the 1,000 OPS. He's trying. Jacob Burke. Oh, he's holding it down. George Springer. Bringing it down. With us. You know what? He's doing better with us. So, I mean, like, do I technically win the trade? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Okay, September call ups. And that means we got the player development. A lot for Michael Chavis. Jacob Gonzalez is dropping. That is, that is unfortunate. And Hunter. Got the roster expansion. Luis Robert absolutely just went the hell off. Okay, so who do we... Who do we call up? What pitcher do I want? Oh, Matt Foster did well after getting sent down. Sean Burke's been doing well recently. Any starters? Uh, let's do, let's do Sean Burke, and let's do, I guess we'll do Michael Chavis, I don't know, I don't have a, I already have a lot of infielders though, but. Um, let's do 
Let's get Jared Walsh for fun, but... Well, let's do Coloss, I guess. And let's change up the bullpen here. These two to middle. There we go. How's Logan Allen been as a reliever? Because your has been going down. Okay, 177 as a reliever, okay. Has been more, you know, long relief, not really high stress situations, but that's at least good. <laughs> better than a lot of my, better than really every other non, you know, well, every, you know, high leverage guy or low leverage guy, I should say. Colossus. Um, I'll give Coloss a shot at Yeah, well let's give Coloss a shot at first. See how that goes. All right, Mike Bauman, he sprained his ankle. It influences throwing moderately. So we're just going to go ahead, place him on the injured list. That is going to go ahead, end of season, two-week injury. So uh, we're just going to go ahead, call up Drew Thorpe, just to throw him in there and see what he can do for the rest of the year. It's the end of the season. 65 and 97. Finish tied for the worst record in baseball. So at least we're sharing the misery with someone, which is nice. So. That was what, July? When we made the trades? 32. So 32 and 62. And to finish it off, we were 33 and. 33 and 35 after? to finish the year after those trades 33 and 35 500 almost 500 after after all that okay maybe we're doing something correct here so let's see how we finished out the season Garrett Crochet rebounded for August and September. Wish I could see. Wish I could see like first half versus like second half. I wish they gave it to me. Like that. Yeah, they don't. Okay. Yeah, rebounded for August and September. Dang Dunning just got worse. Nick Frost, I really never had it. Freddie was put on waivers. Nick 
Why did they put him on? What the hell? Why did they put him on waivers? So. Okay. All right. Weird. Corey Jolks. He's still a Dodger. Okay. Interesting decisions. Colin Rea, solid Alec Manoa. Not the best with us. Riley O'Brien, though. I mean, he walks a lot of guys, but... Let's see. Good ERA. Almost two homers per nine, though. Can figure it out with him. Jesus, though, that fib. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can just get his control going. He might need to, like, put him in middle relief just to see, but might need to think about closer just to, you know, going to the offseason, but call like and love lady. Performed. So they were nice pickups. Logan Allen at least held it together when we made him be a reliever. He doesn't necessarily enjoy being a reliever, but I moved him to middle relief and he got. Worse, so definitely uh, just avoid high leverage and pray kind of thing. And not, uh, yeah, my Michael Kopech's definitely going after this season. And then getting into the hitting, before we get into that, terrific season for Luis Robert. Terrific season. If we can see it. Luis Robert. Hold on here. Leader Moore's combined. There we go. American League. If it'll show it. There it is. Luis Robert almost. He almost got the triple crown. If Royce Lewis and Bobby Witch has decided not to be elite, that that is his. But incredible year for Luis Robert. 315, 43 homers, 128 driven in, 951 OPS, 154 OPS plus, 8.3 war. MVP type season. He was out here putting the team on his back. And that's why you keep Luis Robert. And honestly, his value may never be higher. His value may never be higher. Maybe we consider trading him since it, it may, it, it might never, may never be as hot as a commodity as he is now. Mr. Luis Robert Jr. Well, the way his contract is, it just going to be more expensive when, you know, 2028 rolls around. So who knows? As for the rest of the lineup, if I can get to it, uh, Edgar Cuero put up good numbies. 1.4 war in a short amount of time. If I did a 388 on base, that's what he's here to do. That's why he's got the 75i. He's here to get on base and play okay defense. That's why we got more walks and strikeouts. Always great to see. 814 OPS. He is our catcher of the future. Oscar Colos and Gavin Sheets here to hang out. Gavin Sheets will, as always, we're more interested in see what he does versus righties, which was slightly above average. So, so that's all we really needed from him. Brian Ramos. Another good year out of our 
guys who we consider our core. Defense takes away from it. We might just need to make him the DH instead of trying for second base. Maybe we focus on defense for offseason, but still 39 home runs. If we can get that 30 to 40 homers a year out of him, we'll take it. We will take it. And, you know, if that's his ceiling, just kind of that. DH kind of guy, then it is what it is. Yon Moncada. Uh, what happened? What happened to you? What happened to you, Yon Moncada? Where did it go wrong? 139 strikeouts, 49 walks. Not a patient man. And I am no longer a patient man. We are not going to bring him back. It is over. I was hoping it was over last season, but he said, man, that qualifying offer looks real good. And he took it. And he sure did take it. Uh, Lenin Sosa, he stepped up. And hopefully it shows with the lefty stats, because that is where... Well, it does not show with the lefty stats. He had right, he's better, so that's kind of unfortunate. That was... His role towards the end of the season. It does not reflect it. But Colson Montgomery. It reflects with him. Terrific rookie season. And everything I hoped for and more. Out of Colson Montgomery. Almost a four war. 800 OPS. Hopefully the, you know. Really, it's just the defense that, kind of like with Brian Ramos, but at least he has the defensive ratings, maybe not the position ratings, but at least the defensive ratings, you know, above average. Not elite ratings, but we can live with them. We'll live with them. Luis Robert we talked about. Jacob Burke, not the best, but, you know, we really weren't depending on Jacob or Braden. George Springer will look at just fun. You know what he did better than Toronto, so I mean I I guess we'll take it. I suppose. How has Andrew been intended? This son of a bitch learned to hit the baseball. How how so very dare you? How so very dare you? He works hard. My ass, he works hard. But anyway, next time, it's the playoffs that we're not in, but we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. We can look at Seattle and see how Eloy did. Let's do that. Let's take a look at Seattle. How did Eloy do? Holy sweet Jesus. They put Eloy Jimenez on steroids. They need to be investigated. Hit 20 home runs in 60 games. Who Who is this man? This is not the Eloy Jimenez that we had. Excuse me. Yeah, I want to redo on this trade. Well, I, I want to do over. I want him back. It's very clear that you fixed Eloy Jimenez for me. Now I'm requesting him back. Thank you very much. I hope you understand, Seattle. As you can see, we are in a time of need here. Better, Philly better if not have fixed. I don't want to fix Andrew Vaughn, I swear. It's probably not going to be in this. Let's go to lineups. Andrew Vaughn. Two, yeah, that's right. I mean, they... I kind of fixed them. Sort of. It's a slight improvement. But not really. But not really. And we're not really in the playoffs, so... 
Who is the real loser? That would be us. That would be the White Sox. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Next time, will be the offseason slash postseason slash hopefully we improve. I hope you all enjoyed. Still the best team airs was. Still good at something. I'll see you guys next time.